Hey, what's up? <clears throat> Whoa, first time talking today. Jarvis, drop my needle. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Blog. And today we're going to talk about the box office for the fourth weekend of Venom Let There Be Carnage, because obviously it's still releasing in other countries and territories and regions around the world. And I wanted to give updates on not only that and some information we got there, but also the domestic box office as well, because the movie just crossed the $350 million marker, which is great because as I was saying in like the first box office weekend uh, report that we did was I was saying, as long as this makes around four to 500 million, um, that's really good range for it because the budget was about 110 million and they probably spent around 100 million or so to market the movie, probably less because they had to do less marketing because of COVID and stuff. But I feel like they still spent probably a pretty penny to market this. So uh, so I don't know how much exactly, but I always was saying like maybe around 200 million is kind of the break even point. But that's not that just because the movie makes 200 million in the box office uh, doesn't mean it actually broke even because they only get about 50 percent of opening weekend box office numbers. And then every weekend after that, they get less and less. So you still need to like almost double, if not triple sometimes, your your budget when you make your movies in order to actually break even or make a profit. Uh, so, but, but since we never really know the full numbers, we kind of use estimates, right? That's what most people on YouTube and other people out there um, use as kind of estimates to guess. Um, and so the real numbers though, pretty much only Sony, Sony knows and probably a few other sources might know that too. But for people like me, I kind of do an estimate. So for the estimates of this movie, we have a success on our hands. Uh, it's pretty, it seems pretty certain now that a Venom 3 will happen. Um, obviously this is not the 850 or 860 million dollars the first movie made. It's going to be really hard to hit that number without a China release and because I think the first Venom movie just alone in China made 260 million dollars just in China. Uh, so it was a huge hit over there. So clearly there's fans in China and probably a lot of fans that want to see this movie and it sucks that right now they don't have a release date for this movie. So in Korea, the movie actually released, I believe, last weekend, like the previous weekend in Korea. And this was its second weekend and it was going up against Dune. Dune was releasing uh, this weekend in South Korea and Venom still beat Dune. Dune could not dethrone Venom in South Korea this weekend. So that's great for Venom. <laughs> you know, Venom had made about $6.7 million over the weekend and Dune made about $2.4 million dollars. Um, over the weekend or the five-day weekend if you want to count it they had a five-day weekend there 3.47 million dollars and even that still couldn't beat Venom on its second weekend so Venom is doing great sorry Dune fans uh, you know but uh, but uh, Venom is is cleaning house uh, doing really well uh, with a total of like 14.1 million dollars over in Korea in its 12 days of release so far which makes it the eighth ranked film of the year in, in South Korea so it's doing really well over there it's already in the top eight films of the year in just 12 days. And as I said earlier, Venom Let There Be Carnage, $350 million globally, which is great. It's doing really, really well. It still hasn't even released in like 40 or 50% of the countries and regions and territories that it's supposed to release in. So we still have plenty more releases. Over the next six or seven weeks, this movie's gonna be coming out in a lot of places around the world. So there's still a chance to climb. And as long as it, you know, I, I was saying earlier on, if it, I think it's gonna end around 400 to 500 million, but I'm thinking it might actually go past the 500 million marker, which is great because already this is a success. They're going to consider it that, you know, Sony is uh, for sure. And even though it's not hitting the 850 million marker, um, that's still without China. So if it releases in China, that could boost it up significantly and definitely make it, uh, you know, up there with its first movie. But uh, at least where it's releasing around the world outside of China, it's still doing really, really great. And it's still, you know, breaking all kind of goals and, you know, different regions of the world. And Russia did really well. And India they had a great weekend. Um, you know, in South Korea now, it's already in the top 10 films of the year. And it's only out been out for 12 days there. So clearly it's doing well. The momentum's building. People out there are still excited for this. And I hope there are places around the world that 
aren't, you know, don't have release dates yet, I hope they do get those release dates because I, there are fans out there that want to see this film and, and you don't want to encourage them to go look for it illegally, right? You know, Sony. So I'm sure they're doing everything they can to try to make sure this movie releases in as many places as possible so more and more fans can go see it. So this is just great though. I mean, this is fantastic news for Venom. Um, seeing it climb like this is awesome. I'm, I'm very excited to see it every week. Um, you know, France, you know, the movie started with $5.2 million with the preview night stuff. So that made it do better in France than even Shang-Chi did and on par with Black Widow. In Germany, it launched with $4.3 million, uh, including preview nights, um, which is ahead of Shang-Chi and Black Widow, ahead of both of them by like 80 to 90%. Um, in Russia, like I said, the symbiote has grossed $30.3 million to become the number eight Hollywood release of all time. So it's number eight of all time of highest grossing movies in Russia uh, is Venom Let There Be Carnage of all time. <laughs> that's crazy. And again, that's Hollywood release movies. Obviously, they have movies that are made in Russia that probably do better, but just saying Hollywood releases. But still, you know, that's awesome. It's awesome to see this movie doing that well and uh, and and kicking butt and taking names and showing, you know, people out there. I know there are people out there critical of this film, and that's fair. I'm critical of the film, too. Um, I think there are things to be critical about about this franchise, but overall, I think it's a fun franchise, and as goofy and weird as it is to some people, I think the average person has embraced this franchise and likes the, you know, approach, you know, and, and thinks it works, and they want to see it, obviously, cross over with other franchises and other things, so hopefully we'll get all that stuff in the future. Again, I'm going to stay away from spoilers and stuff on here because I didn't mark this video as a spoiler video. Um, but just seeing it do this well, you know, seeing it climb up, you know, Mexico and Korea doing great, you know, 19.8 million in Mexico, 14.2 million in Korea. Like, it's just, it's crushing. It's crushing right now in a lot of places around the world. And I can't thank any, you know, all of you enough for going out there and supporting this movie and supporting our boys, Venom and Carnage, uh, you know, which is, which is great. It's our first on-screen carnage. And I think, you know, Woody Harrelson did a great job, especially as Cletus Cassidy. Um, I definitely have my criticisms, like I said, of Carnage himself and even stuff of Venom at times. But overall, I think this universe they're building is working for a lot of people. And clearly people are invested now and want to see where it goes. Um, even more so now after this last movie came out, I think. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes. And obviously next week I'll try to report more numbers. We'll probably stop doing these at some point And I'll probably just wait till we get closer to the final numbers, you know, um, like in December. So maybe um, after next week, we just we won't do any more updates uh, throughout November unless something major happens. Um, I'll cover it for sure. But, uh, but at least for the first, you know, four or five weeks, it was fun covering these numbers for you and, uh, and and following the success of this movie and the continued success and letting you all know out there as it releases in your areas, go see it. Even if you're spoiled, spoiled a little bit on the film, go check it out. It's a fun time. I think you'll like it. So that's it for this episode. Let me know what you think down below and I'll put links to the deadline article and the, where I got this information from. I'll put all those links down below so you can check it out and read it for yourself as well. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.